Life Lived Wild, Adventures at the Edge of the Map by Rick Ridgway is an expansive memoir that chronicles the extraordinary outdoor exploits of one of the world's most renowned adventurers. Within this volume, Ridgway recounts a series of harrowing and evocative stories that span across the globe, detailing his unparalleled experiences in some of the most remote and rugged terrains known to man. The book begins by ushering readers into Ridgway's early life, revealing the genesis of his passion for the wild. His eagerness for exploration is kindled by his outdoorsy upbringing and fanned into an enduring flame through encounters with influential figures and pivotal experiences in the natural world. As a young man, his adventures burgeon, and he embraces a lifestyle that prioritizes immersion in the raw beauty of the wilderness over conventional careers. Ridgway shares his extraordinary explorations, including his legendary first American ascent of K2 in 1978 with a team that included renowned climbers such as John Ross Kelly and Jim Wickwire. The ascent is fraught with peril. The climbers face abrupt weather changes, treacherous terrain, and the psychological toll of high-altitude climbing. They experience the profound camaraderie and stark confrontations with mortality that only such an ordeal can invoke. Surviving avalanches and life-threatening conditions, Ridgway and his team achieve what many deemed impossible. Following the K2 expedition, Ridgway revisits other significant expeditions that have left indelible marks on his life. He vividly recounts his journey through Tibet's Chang Tang Plateau, an undertaking in search of the rare Tibetan antelope, where conservation and adventure intersect. With sensitivity, he talks about the fragile ecosystems and the necessity of environmental protection, a theme that becomes more pronounced throughout his tales. Ridgway's chronicles also delve into the heart of Borneo, where he navigates dense jungles and encounters indigenous people who are deeply connected to the land. He articulates the dangers and discoveries of forging paths through uncharted territories, climbing unclimbed mountains, and venturing into landscapes few have witnessed. His stories serve as open windows into the transformative power of nature and the human spirit's endurance. More than a climber, Ridgway is a writer whose narratives are steeped in the florid beauty of the environments he traverses. His prose renders vivid imagery of alpine sunrises, arduous treks, and thrilling wildlife encounters. As he undertakes journeys from the Patagonian ice caps to the Sahara Desert, the readers are treated to a banquet of visual and emotional experiences. One of the most poignant parts of his memoir details his close relationship with fellow adventurers, including his friendships with climbing icons like Yvonne Chouinard and Doug Tompkins. These relationships are laced with mutual respect, a unified love of the wild, and shared philosophical musings on existentialism and the essence of true happiness. Ridgway also doesn't shy away from discussing the tragic loss of friends to the mountains, offering a sober reflection on the costs of a life at the edge. The heart of Ridgway's narrative centers on the concept of risk and reward. He provides introspection on why he is drawn to such dangerous undertakings, contemplating the intersection of fear, exhilaration, and the profound sense of being alive that comes from pushing one's limits. Although aware of the dangers, Ridgway's desire to confront the unknown and experience the purity of unspoiled nature proves an irresistible siren call. In a continuation of the theme of transcending personal limits, Ridgway recalls a kayak expedition that takes him across the shark-infested waters of the South Pacific. The sheer enormity of the ocean and the vulnerability of being a mere speck on its surface bring a humbling perspective and a fresh appreciation for life's fragility. Adventures at Sea offer a stark contrast to his mountain exploits, showcasing the breadth of Ridgway's hunger for exploration and his flexibility as an adventurer. As an elder statesman of adventure by the latter part of the book, Ridgway acknowledges the physical limits age imposes, yet his spirit remains undiminished. He turns increasingly towards mentorship and environmental advocacy, using his platform to address climate change, habitat loss, and the preservation of wild places. His role in the environmental movement is informed by a lifetime of witnessing the changes wrought upon the landscapes he loves. In his mountaineering adventures, Ridgway emphasizes the lessons learned from mistrustful steps, moments of doubt, and the occasional fall. 
He speaks to the importance of resilience, problem solving, and the fortitude required to ascend not just mountains, but the pinnacles of personal aspiration. These lessons neatly dovetail with his philosophy of life, a constant striving for meaning through challenge. Towards the close of his tales, Ridgway reflects on the modern era of adventure, where technology and globalization have changed the fabric of exploration. He grapples with the notion of the edge of the map in a world where few unexplored places remain, suggesting that adventure now lies in the experience and mindset rather than the geography. Rick Ridgway's Life Lived Wild is not merely an adventurous recount. It is an ode to the beauty of the unknown, a testament to the value of wandering, and a call to action to protect what untamed wonder remains. It is a rich tapestry of natural splendor, riveting adventure, and profound friendship that offers insights into what it means to live a life unconstrained by society's traditional bounds. Ultimately, Ridgway's memoir stands as an enthralling narrative of a life well and truly lived at the edge of the map. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.